Hey there, Tyler Lebman here at Visual Intelligence. All right, so I just noticed that Tableau had a new product called Tableau Prep, um, and I literally just seen it on Facebook, so I, I ran a Tableau's website to read about it a little bit more um, and did all of the, the training that they offered. Uh, so I wanted to go ahead and uh, create an example uh, showing you how to use the, the prep using some real data um, and do kind of a quick overview of, of what uh, the, the Tableau Prep does and then how the kind of the interface works and how I can see using it. Now, I'll be honest with you, I, I've used Alltrix also and I use another program called Data Martis um, to kind of you know restructure my data. And I think Tableau Prep is going to kill all of this. I mean, Alltrix is, is crazy expensive. Um, Tableau Prep is going to come free with your creator uh, license because Tableau has redone their, their licensing as well. Uh, so you're supposed to get Tableau Desktop, Tableau Prep, and one online license now. Um, and Tableau Prep is pretty much going to replace Alltrix if you had Alltrix. Um, so this is the, the step where you connect your data files. Um, you go ahead and clean it up, pivot your data, join your data, aggregate your data, do whatever you need export it to a TDE file or a, um, a hyper file or CSV file and then connect to Tableau directly to that. So this is that middle step that is going to uh, get your data just how you want it um, for 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 tablet, your Tableau dashboard. Now, um, I, I did do play with this a lot, and it's really cool. I mean, I, I think you're going to like this a lot once you get into it, and it's pretty easy to to understand. Uh, a lot of it is is copying the the Tableau desktop uh, data connection screen um, and mimicking Alteryx uh, kind of canvas flow as well. All right, so in this example, um, we're going to connect to some sample Excel data that I made, um, and we're going to kind of create a, an entire flow uh, workflow process from start to end. All right, so first thing we're going to do, uh, as you see, I have it, have my Tableau data prep up. Uh, we need to connect to data. So we're going to go ahead and connect to data. And like I said, you're more than welcome to follow along. The Excel file will be um, under this uh, so you can get access to this Excel file and, and kind of follow along with me. All right, so we're going to do an Excel file and it's going to be called Tableau Data Prep. Now let me go ahead and grab this Excel file so you can see kind of what it's going to look like. Uh, we have some employee info data. We have employee info and employee info two, which we're going to union this data. Um, we have some bonus data over here. We're going to pivot, and then we're going to join some um, some sales people over here off of employee code, and then we got to do some cleaning up and some other kind of stuff as well. So I'm trying to get this data source uh, ready for Tableau. All right, all right. So first thing we need to do, of course, have the data source. Uh, let's go ahead and grab the employee info and bring it on here. And you'll see it has this kind of cool canvas screen, just like Alteryx had. All right, so we have this employee info um, in the input screen. So this is considered the, the add input or adding a file. Um, you can uh, you can select you know different fields. You can change the data type. Uh, you can add filters here uh, through a, an actual calculation. Uh, you can do a wildcard union or a single union. And then you got this data sampling, which is really cool. So you have the default, and then you have a fixed number. You know, if you want the first thousand, you know, 100,000 rows, whatever, use all the data. And then you have this sampling method. Uh, so I thought this was pretty cool. You could do a random sample. Um, this does, you know, take longer, more performance, but it, it's meant to try to get a, a representative uh, sample for your data so that, you know, if you do maybe the first thousand, you're only going to get 2018 data. Um, but if you do a random sample, you might get 2015, 2016, you know, all the different type of data sources or data type or data values. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool. So you have the, the input stage, which is the first one, and you actually input the data. Um, now I can also do unions here and then also has a, a union um, stage as well. Um, but we're going to go ahead and just do the union here. So I'm going to grab the employee info too, and I'm going to grab it and start dragging it on the canvas. And if I hover over hover over the first one, you see I have new union or new join. I want to do a union. So I'm going to drop it on union. And it's going to add that uh, that add union step. So I could have just clicked the plus and did add union step and did it manually. Um, but it's a little quicker to just grab it and drop it on top. All right, so now I union my data. Um, and you see we get this kind of new cool profile pane, right? So. I thought this was, was really cool because one, you can see your unions um, depending on the like, different color. And then two, like for instance, if I say, all right, I want to look at the people in India. Yeah. 
uh, the Indian nationality. I click on that and you can see it highlights um, the Indian nationality throughout all your different data panels or panes, right? Or you can say, well, I want to look at people in HR. And you click HR and then it highlights all of them as well as filters down here. Um, so like this would be cool if you want to see like the knolls. Like, all right, where's my knolls at? I click on my knolls. Um, I can see if it's maybe in a certain um in a certain field or something. Um, I can see the preview down here, see what's going on, um, and then kind of, you know, try to problem solve here. Um, so this is really cool where you can just kind of see an overview of your data. All right, so that is it for the union. So we got our data stacked on top of each other. Now let's add a, a new step, and we're gonna do this add step. Now this add step is really the, the cleaning step. Um, so then this step, we do, we're going to do everything from, um, you know, filtering the data. Uh, there's a, a group and replace, which is pretty cool. Um, we're cleaning the data, splitting the values, renaming, all the, the cleaning type stuff. All right. So here uh, I want to get rid of this table name. So I'm going to hit this drop down and I'm going to remove this field. Uh, this employee code is uh, the department and then the actual employee code here. So I'm actually going to split this. So I'm going to go to split values automatic. And now I have the employee code, which is the number. So this is a, now I can change the data type. So I'm gonna change this from a number to a string. All right, so I have my actual employee codes here and I'm gonna remove this. This is the department, but I already have the department over here. So I'm gonna remove this one and I'm gonna remove this employee code, which has a department attached to it. And I'm gonna rename this uh, employee code. All right, so I go ahead and rename that. Now I can kind of go through and play with my data some more, kind of look through. All right, let's see what else I need to clean. All right, here it says no and then why. I want to change this value to be a yes. So I'm changing that alias to be a yes instead of a y. Scrolling through some more. All right, let's look at state. It looks like California is uh, has multiple spellings of California. Just maybe somebody inputted it wrong. So kind of cool thing here is if you hit this drop down and do group and replace, you have manual se selection, uh, pronunciation, and then common characters. So if I do like common characters, it's going to group like the Californias that are common uh, together and, and kind of guess it. Um, and then if it doesn't guess it right, I can click it. And then I can say, all right, you missed this one and grab California and it groups it for. So this would be really cool for maybe like you're doing like open end type questions or uh, where you need to group different things or if people misspell stuff, it'll group it automatically and then you kind of go in and clean it up. Uh, so that I think that's gonna be really handy. Uh, let's see what else they got. All right, you can also do uh, things like um, if you go to clean, you can make everything uppercase, lowercase, remove letters, remove numbers, uh, remove punctuations, uh, trim the, the actual spaces. Um, so you can do all that, take a preview here, play with it. Uh, you can do create calculated fields. Uh, rename fields, filters, all that. So this is kind of the, the, the I guess, the, the most robust step because you can do a lot of different things on here. Um, and as you see, every time I do something, I get these icons uh, up here in my step so I can kind of see what I'm doing. And then if I hit this uh, little carrot over here, I can see all the changes that I've done. And then if I want to delete it, I can uh, hit an X and then actually delete it. All right, so this is me cleaning all my data uh, and looking at an overview, uh, seeing if, if everything looks good. All right, from here, I want to pivot this data. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do a new step and do add pivot. And the reason I want to pivot is because uh, I have my bonuses over here and I want a column that just says bonus and then a column that says quarter. All right, so that's, that is going to duplicate all this, uh, but that's all right for what I'm doing. So all I have to do is grab a Q1 bonus, hold shift, grab Q4, grab it and put it in my values. All right, and I'm going to rename this. This is going to be quarters. And this is just going to be bonus. All right, so now I pivot my data. And like I said, if I look at one employee, I'm now going to have four uh, different rows for it. And I'll have the bonus uh, for each of the quarters right here. All right, so I, I pivot my data and got it structured how I want it. Now I want to actually bring in a, a value that has the yearly bonus. So it's summing up all four of these. 
and then uh, giving me just a column that says yearly bonus and whatever the sum of all four of these are. All right, and you do that through the aggregate, the aggregate uh, step. So here I do add aggregate, and I want to uh, sum up my bonus. So find that, put that in my aggregated fields, and I want it to be summed up by employee code. All right, and we can see down here that it's actually summing up all four of the quarters into one field by employee code. All right, now it's kind of cool. Now that I can, I do that, now I can grab this and drag it on top of my pivot and do a join. All right, so now I'm almost doing like a, a fixed calculation where I'm summing it up by, uh, so this would be like a fixed off of employee code, sum of bonus. And then from there, it is going to uh, have that sum for each employee code in the data. Okay, so here I need to go ahead and identify what my join is going to be off of. And this is going to be employee code. And you see we have this, uh, this error here. And uh, now I got an employee code, so everything looks good. Uh, down here, you can see the join type. It's an inner join, but I want it to be a left join. So I select left, and now you have this uh, summary of join results, which is really cool because now you can see uh, what's in the pivot one and the aggregate, which are the two things I'm joining, uh, what the results are. Uh, here you can see if there's any mismatches, and you can say show only mismatches. In this one, we don't have any mismatches, so we're good. Uh, but this gives you a, a way of queuing uh, your join because joins can be pretty confusing for people. Um, so this is going to make sure that you're not uh, excluding any values that you're not supposed to be excluding. All right, now I look down here and I see I have my employee code, I have bonus and then bonus again. Uh, I want to name this yearly bonus. So I'm going to go back to my aggregate uh, uh, step and I'm going to rename this one and we're going to call this yearly bonus instead. All right, there we go. So we got the employee code, yearly bonus, and bonus. So now if we're looking at one employee, if I sum up all four of these, I'm going to get this 16,939. All right, so now I got my yearly bonus um, for every single row of this employee. All right, next thing I want to do is do another join where I'm joining in the salesperson. So I'm grabbing this employee uh, EMP fin and grabbing it and dropping it on top and doing another join on top of that join. And I have to tell it what to join off of. So I'm going to add and it's going to be employee code again. So I'm going to do employee code. All right, and I have a error. So now you kind of see here where I have what's excluded. You see something's going on here, right? I have the, what's the mismatch, which is every single thing. But if we look at it, there's a one and a one here, right? So what's going on here? What's going on is if we go to the employee fin, this is a number and in the join employee code is a string. So I just got to go in here and change this from a number to a string and go back to my join and my join is all good. All right, so from here, I'm gonna make this a left also. Take a look at the join summary. Everything looks good. I'm gonna go and let's see, look through here some more. Got my name over here, got my employee code over here. All right, so this looks pretty good. All right, I do want to remove this employee code, so I'm going to click on it and do remove field because I don't need two employee codes in my data. All right, now from here, I have my entire workflow. I now need to do the very last one, which is how to add an output. And I have two options. I can save to a file, which the output types are the hyperfile.tde or the CSV. I pick my output name and location or I can publish it to a data source and log in to Tableau server and publish it here. So once I'm all finished, I get to hit run flow and it's going to save that. It's going to run this actual entire workflow and it's going to save that file uh, wherever I placed it. All right, so this is the Tableau data, the Tableau prep software, the new one that just came out. 
uh, it is it's really nice. I mean, I, I really like it. I think I'm going to use it a lot. Um, I think it's something that you can pick up pretty quickly, uh, like especially if you use Alteryx or, or some type of other ETL tool. Um, but it, it's going to save you a lot of time. Um, so, yeah, go ahead and, and go into it, play with it, download it. Uh, tell me what you think. See if you like it. Um, I do have a, a free download below that is just an overview of all the different steps. So there, there are seven different steps. You have the the, uh, the input, the cleaning, the pivot, aggregate, the join, the union, the output. Um, and it's just an overview of all what all those seven steps do, um, as well as you know what I think about it. So go ahead and, and uh, download that right below, uh, just so you can have that one pager explaining what each of these steps are. All right, well, that's it for me. I'll see you later.